Welcome to the Databox Editor tutorial. You can see we've loaded a project. Um, has four database tables in it and a single page, index page, which has just one content div in it. The first thing we'll do is we'll drag the data boxes into the page so we can view the default settings. So we'll drag the data box for customers and we'll also drag the data box for orders. And we'll put the customers at the top of the table. What we'll do, we'll just preview the page first to show default settings. So if you select the page <coughs> and then the bottom of the uh, uh, screen you'll see you can rebuild the index page at any time. In fact, you can actually rebuild any of the last selected pages. So you can see this is our default data settings. So if we go to the customers data box first and select that, that automatically selects the box editor tab in the main editor windows. And you can see at the top of the uh, editor pane, these are general settings for the for the data box, currently the customers data box. So we've got the table caption which is uh, displayed here. What we'll do we'll just change that to customer details. At the moment the customer reference field of the customer's table is its primary key. You can refresh this view any time. So we've just changed the table caption. If we click refresh, that just shows any changes you've made. There's also uh, security and signing box settings uh, there's an additional tutorial for this, uh, signing boxes and security settings. And there's a master table height. There's also a, an additional tutorial video for this with uh, about master, master child tables and settings. To the left of the editor pane are the current templates that we can use. There are additional templates on Bluebox PHP website. But for now, we'll just select this view and if we now just go down and rebuild the index page again you'll see that all our changes have taken effect so our customers details now is uh, using the selected view that we have there and the orders table is still using the default view so we'll now just let the orders table uh, editor data box editor and we'll select a different view for the orders table and also change the table caption um, order details and rebuild the page so now on our view customer details and the order details views have now been changed that concludes this short tutorial just on the data box editor there's uh, additional tutorials on the layout tabs and pager tabs.